Hey y'all, welcome back. Or Aaron's standing right next to me. <laughs> welcome back to today's video. Um, it is pretty cool outside. It's cooled off a lot. It was in the 80s and now it is like 51 degrees out there. So, I would like to clean out the car. I mean, really clean it good because it's been a long time. Um, also need to take a bunch of brush that we had anyways um so clean out car possibly get an air truck too. clean that too make good for a video um some things in the yard and then we'll just see what all happens after that but those are the first two projects i would like to get to since it is cooler outside i've got shorts on but i've got a sweatshirt on because i know i'm still gonna I'm going to get warmed up once I get moving, so I don't want to get too, put on too many layers, and then I start getting super hot and have to take stuff off. Alrighty, you excited? Let's go. Alright y'all, that cat that you see following me everywhere, that is Miss Margaret. She is our younger cat. She's less than a year old. Um, she will be one year on June 29th. I actually have the cat's birthday is basically as the same day because I don't know exactly the date that Lucy was born, but I do know how old she is because um, when we got them spayed, they, they said how old they were. Um, so we're going to do their birthday on the same day this year. I think that would be fun. And Chloe's is February, but we might just have to get her something too. So she feels included. Anyway, a lot of brush over here that I'm getting up and I sort this stuff. So I am just picking up the big branches first and then I'll come back later for those logs. Um, cause they have a different pile that they're going to go on. And the reason why I'm moving them from one pile to the other is because this area actually has an old wooden, um, raised bed. So there is a bunch of stuff just sitting on top of this that is all burnable. And the other part of the yard that it was on, um, I really want to weed eat over there today so I needed to get this all organized and put in a spot that um, you know we didn't need to mow <laughs> and where it would kind of permanently be as we are using it for firewood when we when we do our fire pits which we need to do them any chance we get this year because we have so much wood to go through But know that I was born as a fight We fail, we fail But we're better than that We're better than that I know, you know So why are we holding on, holding on
All right, so while I was working on this, Erin took Chloe outside, he got her fed, and then um, we were both outside when I was weed eating. And then later on when I'm cleaning out the car, he was getting dinner ready, which he needed to marinate the steaks that we were gonna have later on. He also cooked the steaks, he did the baked potatoes, all that stuff. So whenever y'all see me out here doing something, Erin is most likely inside doing something else. <laughs> He just says, what is it you would like me to do today? And then I just give him a list of things he can do. A lot of you have mentioned in the comments that it looks like I have lost weight and honestly I have no idea. Um, I have not looked at the scale in a couple of weeks because last time I looked at it I had gained 10 pounds but I will also say that I have never been more active in my life um, and that's a good thing. I sometimes people are all like you need to slow down um, and I appreciate it but also this is so good for my body and it is so good for my health and if you don't move it you lose it right so I would love to be older and still being able to get around so I've got to do that now too <laughs> I can't just be vegging out all the time because that is definitely what old Kimmy used to do Kimmy that um y'all know knew like maybe six months ago would do and we are just not her anymore so if y'all see me run running around the house it's a big motivation is maybe it would get me in shape <laughs> any excuse to get two things done at once where i'm not having to exercise just like a standalone time um like take time out of my day just to exercise i can get things done while also probably burning calories you know and yard work will really take a lot out of you also whenever we clean out the car oh my goodness i have an appreciation for people that detail cars because my fingers like my knuckles feel like they're detached from the bones when i told that darren he shook his head like he knew what i was talking about i don't know what i'm talking about but maybe you do all right we've got our huge burn pile which i don't think we would actually just burn this right here i'm not sure though maybe on a day when it's not windy but this is pretty close to people's homes so i don't know we'll see and then i figured we could still use these for fire fires you know in our fire pit so I've just separated stuff. I've got like good kind of fire starter stuff right there. And then the big pieces right here. And then all those little branches right there. So it's sorted. I told Erin I love doing this stuff. It's just so fun. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is kind of weedy this tall stuff right here. And I may move the kayak real quick so I can weed eat right there too. Oh, I forgot a log. <laughs> um, yeah, that's my plan. 
but here's here's where all of that all those branches and wood was and now it's all over there All right, so here's what we're weed eating. Erin also kind of guided me. I've always just kind of weed eated around the stuff, but he shared with me how to weed eat like basically right up until, until the, like the object. So you'll see when we get to the shed, um, I get all the grass around the concrete blocks that are underneath there and normally i would not go even like six inches from it because so there's always an outline of tall grass left over so now that i know how to do it like you just slowly inch your way towards it um i i can do it now um what else is i can tell you? oh he grabbed the camera and then he kind of followed me around so i thought that would be fun
All right, y'all. I'm about to start cleaning the car. I've got Mr. Clean Erasers, these crevice gap cleaning brushes, and then this Chemical Guys Total Interior Cleaner and Protect. Basically, it seems like you can use it on everything. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm also going to use my shop back to vacuum, but I think right now I'm just going to... What should I do first? I'm going to put my keys in. That I have no idea. Oh, oh right there. Yeah, because you're going to have to get the drop back out. Yeah. In the yep, for the shop vac. So, what I want? So, I don't know if I should, because if I vacuum, like, top to bottom, basically. Vacuum, if I vacuum first, then I may have to vacuum again later. I should find the windshield. Yeah, we should. Which this is, we can use it on glass. Well, so, glass right, the spray away. I'd rather use that. Okay. Because I feel like I still need to, I, I may need to like pre vacuum some sections, like the dash and before I actually clean. I don't know. Because I feel if I get the crumbs and stuff up first, then I can just go in and wipe things down and then vacuum the, the floorboards. Okay, so I do need the shot vac right away. Okay, dokie. That's yeah. my thought process. Well, I could well, use my be, little tiny one real quick well, and then... You don't want to be moving around dust while you're cleaning all the other stuff. Okay. I've got this one over here. That's been knocked over. But I know it's charged because I saw it was green. Just as from back life and I don't even know if they still sell it but if you've never seen something like this it's called a vac vac wand vacuum wand there's all sorts of them okay so I put 20 years old and it's on now which is slightly misleading because this is a 2005 I believe so it's actually 19 years old but 20 sounded better okay and it's just one year just one but this thing is filthy <laughs> inside and outside now we're we will take the car to a car wash once I get paid in a couple weeks I'm so excited we have lots of plans to be on it um like we're gonna get the some of y'all asked the when are we gonna get the dumpster so I was saying a few weeks but actually um depending on when they can deliver from the time you order I don't know what the turnaround is um, it could be like a week for all I know but I would definitely be ordering it two weeks from now um, and also getting the wood for the rest of the porch the um, patio furniture after we finish the porch and go ahead and stain the porch which we do already have the stain for the porch um, yeah, I don't know what else I was going to tell you, but we can go get our car washed. <laughs> so we'll do that. But here's the back seat, which is even worse. I honestly didn't realize because I had three bags of stuff that needs to go to the thrift store. I shared a TikTok with y'all the other day on my Instagram stories. And it was a man um, taking his thrift bags to his truck just to sit there for like a year or whatever. And that is so me. <laughs> they stay in the car until Aaron's like, where are you going to get rid of these? <laughs> and then I end up getting rid of them. But, um, yeah, I'm just getting all the trash out of here. I really thought I could get away with just using a Walmart bag. No, ma'am, Miss Pam. I had to use a whole trash bag because there was that much trash in here. And the amount of, like, three-fourths full water bottles should be a crime should be a crime but don't worry new Kimmy drinks the whole entire thing of water <laughs> so we're dusting and I'm gonna vacuum and y'all will notice later on my skinny vacuum um, looks like it was fully charged but it was in that same outlet that I think went bad so I had to go grab my bigger vacuum, which is also from Vaclife, not sponsored. Um, 
it's just bigger but it it does work really well we're gonna pull out our shop vac though later on and vacuum like really good and y'all that thing is powerful it's the vac master i will link it down below i'll also link the cleaning products that i used today of course the dusting wand the Mr. Clean erasers, y'all can get those anywhere, so you don't necessarily need to use my link to get them. But things like this brush, um, the car cleaner, and the vac um, shop vac, and the little handheld vacuum, I will link those because that may be something that is like worth looking at on Amazon. But, you know, when it's like, okay, here's the trash bags I bought this week, I'm not linking a trash bag. Should I? I don't know. Am I a hypocrite? Because I have linked my drugstore makeup on Amazon. <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. But these brushes are so good. Um, they were a gift. And she mentioned that she uses them everywhere. So I was like, well, let me take them to the car. Because there's all these little, you know, cracks. And they worked really well really well and they came in a pack so i even used them on the floorboard in between the like chair and this console area and they got up a lot of stuff underneath there which is so hard to get clean under there so this is really nice believe this was a dime I had money underneath my butt this whole time and I didn't know it this is why we got to clean things because we'll be we'll be getting rich over here with these nickels and dimes <laughs> I found probably like a dollar <laughs> If you have nasty, grimy stuff like this in your vehicle, the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, the one that's like curvy and has the lines in it, it's supposed to be stronger. Anyway, this thing is literally a miracle. Um, it is so good. So, highly recommend. From this tree I've been in I need to get in closer to you I swear you might but see Oh baby I've been waiting for you Now we are one step closer We're all in this together Put your hand in mine Yeah we are one step closer Here was the difference between the left side that I had done and then the right side that I didn't do yet so now I'm just going to go ahead and finish cleaning that one
these are super grimy y'all if i'm being honest i probably have not cleaned this car as in um did anything besides take trash out of it in probably a year actually the last time i cleaned it would be on the channel so i want to go look and see because i'm curious how long did this go how much accumulation is this anyways also if you're new here I just like being funny sometimes, so I hope you enjoy that from the sweet southern soul um, that was born in Mississippi, raised in Tennessee, lived in Kentucky a little while, also Virginia, and then somehow I ended up in North Carolina with this man that I met one time, and then now we have three animals and we live in this trailer together. <laughs> Y'all, I had to scroll over 700 days ago to find the last car clean video, which is the last time I cleaned it. <laughs> Two years ago. <laughs> Two years. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. So I've actually, um, I guess it would be like inverted this. Like I kind of, you know what I mean. I flipped it inside out. Um, so that I could get as clean as I could on here. And it's it's old. And so it still looks kind of dingy. But there's nothing wrong with that. And then the seats as well. I actually have a steamer now. So I may bring my steamer out here one day. And see if I can like steam the seats. And clean them really good. Because they really need a good cleaning. They are more than dirty. They need to be washed. <laughs> if, honestly, we probably could take them out of the car, spray them down, and then put them back in. But that would be a lot of work. Um, so, yeah. Anyways. Moving on. <laughs> way i know somebody out there and i know my girls are gonna say kimmy don't worry about those people so and i don't um but i am sure this because i know there are some of you that have also went this long without cleaning your car and i don't want you to feel bad about it um there's been quite a few of you leave comments down below saying that you appreciate um me sharing this type of stuff because you have had depression and or anxiety and it has caused you to kind of like not be able to do certain things. Because I don't think people, obviously some people just do not understand that depression and anxiety can be crippling. And so much so that some people do not even have the energy or the, um, I don't know. I mean, for me, I want to be careful, but I definitely think my confidence growing has helped me be able to do things and um like just facing things you know so i don't know how else to word that but like there's a lot of things that can prevent someone from moving ahead and doing things in a timely manner um and it's like mental issues so i would say if you are someone that's like watches a video like this and you're like wow i just don't understand how somebody could go two years without cleaning their car just remember having the back of your head oh that's right some people don't even have the energy to brush their teeth in the morning so if someone isn't cleaning out their car and they're at, at least surviving because sometimes when you go through things in life you're in survival mode and your body and mind get used to that and it becomes your life and you sometimes we're not even aware that we're in it and I would say a great way to be aware of it is if you find yourself doing repetitive things like I used to post clean women videos 
every time every single time and i say that not because okay like it's common for people to have a niche where they post a cleaning video it's not very common when you're posting like identical versions and ever it, it was like a safe thing for me to do i knew that if i had this this day it's kind of like um groundhog day or you know the movie wherever the person lives the same day over and over again well it's like that People can go in in ways in life where they're living the same day over and over and over again because it is safe for them. And when you're in survival mode, safety is your top priority. So things like hygiene, sleeping, um, eating enough, eating too much, all, all of these things can happen. Um, so if someone doesn't clean out their car or, or they have like a pile of laundry piled up, it's because they're more concerned with just getting through the day. So I would be so grateful if, if you have never had to experience that because I wouldn't want anyone to experience that. And sadly, a lot of people do. Okay, so we're going to move on. And there will be people that say, well, there's not an excuse. Yes, of course, there's ableist in the world too, aren't there? <laughs> so you know what sometimes you just gotta take take the good leave the bad throw it out the window you know um what was i gonna tell you oh that was the me showing y'all the all this dirt and stuff that was on the sides of the car on that magic eraser so now i'm just going back and spraying it and then using a microfiber cloth and getting it real clean because you know when you're using um something and it gets really dirty then you kind of start rubbing dirt everywhere else so you have to go back in with something and you know finish the job so that's what i'm doing anyways i know i always go on a tangent with y'all but i'm an empath so i know if i feel a certain way there's someone out there that may also feel this way and i do not want people to feel like they can't share how long it's been without being judged, you know, like, so I just like to share and then be like, don't worry about those people <laughs> because I don't worry about those people anymore. Um, and I'm very grateful to God for giving me, I don't know what happened because I used to let things like that really bother me and caused me to just do what other people wanted me to do and now when you do have more confidence you can just take a lot you know i wouldn't call it thick skin because i'm still very soft um i would just say that it's being assured in what you are doing you don't you don't really take in what people have to say that's that could be negative um because you know your value as a person so i hope that all of you know your value as a person too Alright, since I'm talking on here, I was telling her, look at the difference, it's so satisfying. This is white, and this is covered in dirt. So, now I'm just going to wipe, wipe down this one too. It is chilly, I need to wipe this off too, because this is gross. Huh? Yeah. 
I don't think Chloe likes it when her mom is outside and all the cats are outside. She feels like she's missing out. Okay, y'all. <sighs> Hope y'all are enjoying this. I know it's a little different than what I normally do. But you always got it changed up, right? That's what makes it fun. All right, so this not only looks like dirt, but it also looks like mildew um, mold. I know we have a little bit of mold in the trunk because it smells like I can smell it. I know what it smells like. Um, and now that I know what it smells like, I'm like, oh, when I was growing up, I know that house had mold in it. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm being silly. But, I just decided, hey, why not let's clean the inside of the thing, too. <laughs> so, that's what we're doing. I'm cleaning it. Um, I do want to clean the trunk one day. I just knew it was going to get dark soon. Y'all can tell it's already getting a little bit darker than it was. Um, I think I started around 1 o'clock, and then I got done around 7. <laughs> With the, um, today's projects anyways. So, it was a big day. And I'm honestly, the reason why I was mentioning the mildew stuff is because whenever you remove mold, mildew from any area that you are breathing in, it is just so good for your health. You feel so much better. And you know what? I did not even think about that. But mold and mildew can cause depression. And I know I'm not a doctor or any sort of medical professional at all, but I know that to be true. Um, you can look it up if you want, but it, cause, it can cause serious health effects mentally and physically. And we did have mold in quite a few areas. The last place we have it is in our door frame, which we will fix. Um, but now that that we have gotten rid of pretty much all of it that may be why my that i'm not in this survival depressive mode anymore and i just you know i pray that i never have to deal with it again because 
I didn't realize how long it had went on without me even being aware of it until now that I am out of it I can look back and see like all of the all the you know you wake up you do this you do that you go to bed you wake up you do this you do that you go to bed and it just that repetitiveness um, I never realized how that was like a like a secondary game it was keeping me safe but it was holding me back from so much more that life had to offer so um if you are going through that and you need a push um do not do not hesitate to get help from a professional uh they are lifesavers literally
it is finally time to vacuum the floorboards and y'all they are dirty so this is going to be super satisfying there's a few attachments that come with this by the way it is a two-in-one it converts to a leaf blower which is also powerful um by detaching the top but today we're using the um shop vac portion of it so we are just getting these floorboards cleaned up. Aaron is my cameraman. And then we actually swap out a little bit and he vacuums too in the back. I've been fighting everything you say. I've been trying to go the other way. But I can't seem to get you out of my head. Out of my head. I've been fighting everything.
Oh my y'all, we have done a lot of stuff today. Look how clean that floorboard is. Holy moly. Holy moly. Looks good in here. Oh, whoopsie. Didn't know about this. And I know what this goes to. <laughs> I've got so many of those little attachments, it's all right. But it looks so much better. Look at that. Look at that. You can touch it. It's not going to bite you. It's not going to give you cooties. Now we still got... I need to take that in with me. This. And this. But it looks so much better back here. Freshly vacuumed. Dashboard is all clean. Clean this little thing because it was really nasty like stuck on but um, we did not wash the outside of this because we can just go to a, a car wash and do that. Um, but I wasn't sure if a car wash gets, I didn't think the water would get up in this so that's why I cleaned the inside. But y'all, I'm wore out. Wore out. He's over there putting the back master the cord away. I'm gonna leave that link down below because it was it was wonderful. I was like, this changes everything. <laughs> Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and I will see y'all back here tomorrow for another one. Bye.